Hey guys, welcome to this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. I'm Dan and we're going to carry on looking at the Swim England Learn to Swim program. This week we're looking at stage 5. Now stage 5 is about ensuring all of the outcomes done in the previous stages are developed even further. This means that swimmers will develop their technique and skills and perform all four swimming strokes to the Swim England expected standards. Swimmers will learn the correct arm pull for all four strokes and learn enjoyable elements such as handstands and somersaults. Stage 5 is a vital stage for young swimmers as they will learn to tread water, which is an important area of development and a crucial life-saving skill. There are 12 outcomes in total for this stage, so let's take a look at them. Outcome number one is to perform a flat stationary skull. Like in all types of sculling, a swimmer's palms need to be the only part of their hand pushing against the water. So to complete this outcome, swimmers need to be able to do the sculling action while staying horizontal and in the same position in the water. Outcome number two is to perform a feet first sculling action for five meters. For feet first sculling, Swimmers need to lie on their back and move through the water with their feet travelling first. To do this, you need to push the water out, away from your legs and keep your fingers pointed downwards. Outcome number three is to perform a sculling sequence for 30 to 45 seconds with a partner. This can be a fun outcome for the swimmers as they get into pairs and perform a sculling routine that lasts between 30 and 45 seconds. They can do a variety of things and can treat it as a kind of dance routine. Outcome number four is to tread water for 30 seconds. This outcome is the vital life-saving skill that swimmers will learn. They need to be able to keep their head above the water while being in a vertical body position for 30 seconds. Of course this will need to be done when they are in the deep end or out of their depth. Outcome number five is to perform three different shaped jumps into deep water. This is a nice fun outcome for the swimmers to do. All the swimmers need to do is to jump into deep water three times doing three different shaped jumps. Swimmers can do star jumps, pencil jumps or tuck jumps. Outcome number six is to push and glide and swim 10 meters backstroke. They need to make sure that their arms and legs are stretched out throughout and that they brush their ears with their shoulders every time their arms come over the water. Outcome number seven is to push and glide and swim 10 meters front crawl. For this outcome, swimmers need to make sure that their arms come over the water on each stroke. If they can breathe to the side when performing front crawl, that's a bonus and will help greatly when it comes to stage 6. Outcome number 8 is to push and glide and swim 10 meters breaststroke. This will be technically the hardest outcome for the swimmers to complete. Coordination is a big factor when it comes to swimming breaststroke, so to make sure it's easier for the swimmers, they can try and do the leg kick first and then follow the kick with the arm pull. Outcome number 9 is to push and glide and swim 10 meters butterfly. This will physically be the hardest outcome for the swimmers to complete. As it will be hard for young swimmers to lift their arms over the water, the swimmers need to concentrate on the timing of the stroke to make it a little easier for them. Outcome number 10 is to perform a handstand and hold for a minimum of 3 seconds. Swimmers have to perform a handstand, making sure their hands touch the floor and their feet are in the air for at least three seconds. Keeping their chin tucked in towards their chest will help during this outcome. Outcome number 11 is to perform a somersault. Swimmers need to be able to perform a somersault in the water by keeping themselves in a tucked position. The faster the swimmers rotate to do the somersault, the easier they'll find it. The final outcome, number 12, is to demonstrate an action for getting help. This last outcome can be a loud one for teachers and parents watching on the side. The swimmers need to demonstrate an action for getting help by waving their hands and shouting for help while treading water. 
We hope you've enjoyed this latest video from us at Propulsion Swimming. The next time we look at the Swim England Learn to Swim stages, we're going to be looking at stage 6 of the Swim England program. Make sure you subscribe to Propulsion Swimming on YouTube. I've been Dan and I'll catch you on the next one.